All right, Flick here from the Nerd Soapbox, and today we're at the 2022 Los Angeles Comic Con with a special guest. He's an actor, a television host, a comedian, international personality, a travel expert, and a foodie. And he's best known to the Nerd Soapbox gang for providing the voice of Hugh Neutron, the title character's father in The Adventures of Jimmy Neutron, boy genius for Nickelodeon. If you guessed Mark DiCarlo, then you guessed right, people. Hello, Mark. Hello, Flick. Good to see you. How have you been? I, I'm doing good. good. How's you? How are you? I'm doing fantastic. How's you? We, I'm, all of us are fine, actually. <laughs> We're uh, at the Comic-Con, and uh, yeah. I'm enjoying the parade of people. How's your con so far? Pretty good. You know, I get a lot of roughage, and uh, I'm pretty regular. <laughs> it's going to be one of those, huh? It is. Okay. Okay. What was your fandom growing up? Were you into sports or comic books or cartoons? Uh, I uh, grew up in Chicago, so I was a You're fan in? of Chicago Cubs baseball. I'm also a fan of Chuck Jones and Tex Avery and Chris You're Freeling, in? the original classic Warner Brothers cartoons. Uh, I don't think uh, that they'll never not be funny. Right, right. How about, uh, how about BJ and the Dirty Dragon? <laughs> yes! Yeah, uh, uh, they were the big Ray Rayner show. Oh, I used to love the Ray Rayner show because yeah. Cuddly Dudley, uh, Cuddly Dudley, and when it would snow in Chicago, yes. we would watch the Ray Rayner show at seven o'clock in the morning yeah. to see if we wouldn't have to go to school. Exactly. So Ray delivered the good news <laughs> a couple times every winter. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay. And Clutch Cargo, remember Clutch Cargo flick? Oh, well, I love Clutch Cargo. It was so weird though. <laughs> this was a cartoon where the people didn't move, but the lips were human. <laughs> they were superimposed over like a picture of a guy, and it was like an action adventure Johnny Quasar kind of show. <laughs> it was kooky, yeah. Yeah, are you from Chicago, Flick? I am. Yeah. Yeah. That's why you would know that. Yeah. Anyone from outside of Chicago would not know BJ and the Dirty Dragon. <laughs> okay, wait, wait. lightning round. Okay. All right. I'd like to name a couple of projects that you worked on. Yes. And uh, maybe have you give us a small remembrance or an anecdote about them. So, like the first word that pops into my head. Okay, sure. All right. The. Uh, WLS TV morning show the, in the Windy City Live. Loved it. Doing live television, doing live comedy on TV is the best. So much better than videotaped comedy. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, we're still, we're came, still in the lightning round? Yes, please. Right. It wasn't that much of a lightning round. No, it was, it was more around, like a though. little thunder. Yeah. The uh, good flick. Don't believe a word this guy says. Oh. See? <laughs> <laughs> that guy slays me. Yeah. <laughs> he will if you don't pay him back money. Oh, I better wow. lose my wallet. Okay. Uh, the dating game show, Studs. Yes. <laughs> That's a statement. It's not a question, <laughs> Flick. No, no. This is the lightning round. Oh, I oh, named oh right. You, right, named right, you, you know, you Jeff threw me off. Oh. Uh, it's, it hit me again. <laughs> the, the, the dating game show, Studs. 600 episodes. Um... Much, much fun flick, and I think, I think you know what I mean. Yeah. Um, and uh, made a lot of great friends, and uh, it was a lot of good dates. A lot of good. Not me personally. Oh. No, we set up a lot of good dates, uh. and uh, we had a lot of laughs. It was very funny. The Seinfeld episode, the face painter. Hilarious. Those people <laughs> are the best at their business, and uh, they work really hard. And uh, uh, it, that was uh, one of my career highlights. People come up to me all the time and go, Alec Burr. <laughs> Alec <laughs> and I have to pretend like, oh, no one's ever said that to me before, Flick. Uh, but every time people do it, they usually say it a little differently. Alec See, exactly. It's a great name, Alec Right. And it was actually the real name of the person who wrote that episode. Alec Berg wrote it. And then went on to do Curb Your Enthusiasm. I worked with him there. Nice. Uh, really funny guy. All right. The Travel Channel's Taste of America with Mark DiCarlo. Delicious. I've been to all 50 states, plus Puerto Rico, plus oh. the District of Columbia, which is our national uh, seat of government. Uh, I've been to 400 plus cities in America, and I've uh, visited with mom and pop chefs all over the country. I've had some of the best food in the world. People always ask me what my favorite food city in America is. Yes, yes. It's got to be New Orleans. Oh. You get everything in New Orleans. Good to know. You can have gumbo in a gas station flick. <laughs> That's the most delicious gumbo you've ever oh. had. I've had sushi at a gas station. Oh. Wouldn't good. recommend it. No, yeah. No. Turns your skin purple. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Prior to working on Jimmy Neutron, you were in uh, Steve Odenkirk's Thumb movies. 
uh, specifically Thumb Wars and uh, Bat Thumb and the the God Thumb and God uh, thumb. Th oh, what was it the uh, Thumb Tannic? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but, yeah. So of course uh, Steve Odenkirk, you know, he wrote the screenplay for Jimmy Neutron. Did that open the door for Jimmy for you to play Hugh Neutron? Your Thumb uh, experience? Uh, I think the Thumb experience was after Jimmy Neutron, but I could be wrong. Uh, as far as when we made them. Right. But yeah, I, I was in uh, everyone but the Blair Thumb Project. Steve has a group of people that he works with that are improvisers, comedians, Megan Cavanaugh, my cartoon yeah, wife, yeah. Uh, Rob Paulson, another voiceover actor. And he puts your head in a vice so it can't move. And then you talk <laughs> like your character. And then he takes that and he puts it on a thumb and they put clothes on a thumb. And it's it, he does film parodies and they're... Hilarious, because Steve is hilarious. Oh, uh, he was actually here with us doing the panel yesterday at Comic Con, and uh, he's one of the funniest people. Is in the this world. your thumb? This is my thumb. No, no, no. Is it the, in the movies? Was no. it your thumb in the movies? No, no, no. They have stunt thumbs. Stunt, stunt thumbs. Stunt thumbs. Yeah. <laughs> it's a big business. Wow. You've heard I, of hand models. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Same thing. Yeah, I'd never have guessed. All right. How, how did you come up with the voice for uh, for Hugh Neutron? Um, I just thought it would be funny if a really, really smart kid had an idiot for a father. <laughs> uh, it turns out it was. <laughs> uh, could you share with us a favorite uh, Hugh Neutron quote or line, please? Pretty please. You're a sugar booger. <laughs> I, don't, I, I, uh, I think I just used to call Megan that in real life. Right. And I called her that once in a session and the writers <laughs> thought it was funny. And, uh, That's great. Yeah. <laughs> I'd have kept it in. Good, good. Ooh. Bafo the Bear. Show. Ba Bafo the Bear is a show that I did, uh, started during pandemic. It's a live action cartoon. We were doing sh live shows on the YouTube that the kids love. So if you go to Bafo the, the, the Bear on YouTube, you can see uh, we were doing an hour a day of live interviews, much like yours. All right. Uh, but we were doing it with Zoom, which isn't as fun. Because yeah. you can't do that on Zoom. Right? You can't go, ooh, that is beautiful hair. You can't do that on Zoom. Yeah, yeah. It's two-dimensional, three-dimensional. <laughs> much. Although you're experiencing this in two dimensions, so I don't know. Let's move on, shall we, Flick? Yes, yes, please. Okay, why was Hugh Nation trending on social media, and uh, what did it have to do with the video game Nickelodeon All-Star Brawl? You have done your research, Flick. You really have. Um... Uh, there's a certain amount of fandom on the internet for Hugh Neutron and a guy named Joe Kostra from New Jersey built this Discord server called the Hugh Nation, hashtag Hugh Nation. Ooh. See, your cameraman's not your own Discord. Uh, Discord. And it's a place where people get together to trade Hugh lines and Hugh memes and speak about the coming apocalypse from which Hugh will rise to command the earth. Oh, that I mean, sense. that's what they believe. That makes sense. Yeah, it's um, <laughs> it's a, it's like Joseph Campbell's uh, Hero's Tale, but right. much bigger and in cartoon form. Oh, all right. All right. I've, okay, so I've heard that uh, Hugh Neutron is the only fighter with hidden moves added to his move set. Have you played the Nickelodeon All Stars Brawl game? I have played uh, the Nick All Star Brawl game. I played it as Hugh Neutron, all right. and I got my kicked. Yeah, I'm not good at really? the video games, no. Wow. Uh, but you, he jumps up and he dances around and he kicks people on a pie. <laughs> uh, he flies with ducks. It's uh, They got all the Hugh new got a motorcycle in it. So all the cool Hugh things from the, uh, the episode, you know, I ride the motorcycle in one of them. Uh, all the cute Hugh-isms are baked into this game. So it was very fun to do. All right. T tell us about the a fork on the road. Was it A Fork on the Road, 400 Cities, One Stomach? <laughs> That's the name of the book I wrote about my Travel Channel show. Nice. As I said, I went to 400 different cities and uh, have slept and eaten in each one. So I'm not counting cities, Flick, where right. I just like, ooh, drove, hit the sign, and kept <laughs> driving. No. I had to sleep there and eat there. That counts right. as a city. And I've been to many cities more than once. Ooh. So the number 400 is a little misleading. It's just a big number. Right, right, right. My point is, I've been there. You name a city. I've been there, ate that. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. yeah you can't name a city in a murder. Terre Haute. Been there. Really? The former home of the Columbia Record Club. Whoa. Terre Haute, Indiana, of course, he's yeah. talking about. 
<laughs> can't do it. Don't Just even one. That's not in America. <laughs> it's not in America <laughs> yet, but you know what? Those Canadians will fold. <laughs> Tried to get you there. <laughs> Whoa. Yeah. All right. All right. All right. So tell me. <laughs> I love, yeah, read your notes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, like you could do your interviews without notes. Like, come on. Cut me a little slack. I mean, no, Flick. Take a moment and glance at them <laughs> so that you don't make a mistake, Flick. <laughs> yeah. There you go. See, now, now he knows what he's going to say next. Otherwise, he's just flying blind, Flick is. But he's a professional journalist. There's no shame in not taking the time or interest to memorize these before <sighs> the interview. No. Flick's a pro. So what is the next question? <laughs> what, what, all right. What, what is an obscure voiceover job that you did, that you had, that your fans would be surprised to know was you? Good question, Flick. Uh, let's see. My I got first, off my notes. My, <laughs> my, my first ever uh, cartoon job was in a show called Duck Man, and I just played an anchor man. Uh, oh. But I'm also, I have a bunch of big parts in um, Santa vs. the Snowman which was a Steve Odenkirk three-dimensional uh, Christmas cartoon that starred Jonathan Winters as Santa Claus. And uh, Jonathan Winters, one of my heroes, so to be, oh, yeah. to be in a show with him as Santa, and I played, uh, uh, I think I played some elves in that. Um, really? Uh, yeah, I played a bunch of elves in that, and, and that was uh, like a funny TV Christmas special All for right. ABC. So I would say that one. You might not know it was me, but it was definitely All me. Right. What are you working on now? I'm working on, I'm doing more Bafo material. All right. We have a motion capture show about UFOs and the aliens. And I'm in a new movie that's coming out. It's called Catching COVID. It's a comedy about uh, the pandemic All completely right. in stop motion Legos. Oh. Let me nice. ask you this. Do you think yeah. an audience can suspend disbelief long enough to believe that Legos could be alive, like an, an inanimate object? could actually be alive and conversing. You think people would buy Nothing that? Nothing worse than talking toys. Right. Freaks me out. Yeah. Freaks me out. It's not right. Yeah. It's not normal. It's not. Maybe it's a demonic. Could be. We don't know. I don't know. Hold on. Look. Let me, let me get it. Check your notes. <laughs> <laughs> Check notes. Okay. Okay. So where can we find you on social media? Uh, social media. Uh, Twitter is Mark, at Mark DiCarlo. Instagram is Mark DiCarlo TV. Where can we find you on social media? www.thenerdsoapbox.com You had to think about that for a second, didn't you? Are you, are you reading it? Oh, it's a cue card over there. I didn't yeah. see it. Yeah. Okay. Well, it's you, Mark. And the first cue card was just www, and the guy had to pull it for the rest. So the pause, like, you can edit that pause out. <laughs> well, they're like huge, huge cue cards you can see from space. Right. Sort of like Bob Hope's cards <laughs> towards the end of his career. Yeah. Hello, I gotta tell you something. Yes. Who do you play? I'm sure your entire audience knows who Bob Hope is. It's just me and you, Flick. <laughs> it's me and you. Well, just like all the Chicago reference. BJ. I, BJ and the Dirty Dragon. No one's ever said that to me in California before. Ray Rayner was a Ray Rayner or Cuddly Dudley. Yes, he was on. He had a morning show. He, yeah. he knows. He had a morning show that did, showed cartoons, and then he was on the live Bozo Circus show. Uh, at noontime as Oliver O. Oliver. Oh, yeah. Live TV, Ooh, five days a week. So you're going to not mention Bozo. I yeah. was on Bozo one year for my birthday. I won Whoa. a Monopoly game. It's fantastic. It was, with the grand wow. prize game. I met BJ and the Dirty Dragon. Did you? Where? Yeah. It was at some mall opening. Uh, in, yeah. in Chicago? Yeah, yeah. When you were just a little purple guy? When I was like guy? this tall. Oh, wow. Yeah. Was he nice to you? I, to be honest, I don't remember. Uh. I was told about it. It may not have even happened. <laughs> well, clearly, I think it had some kind of impact on your life. Oh, yeah. yeah. But can, can, can Hugh uh, Neutron say goodbye and take us out? Sure. All right. Take you out like, take you out? Coffee. Oh. Yeah, this is Hugh Neutron saying, thanks for watching Flick Show. Yeah, bye bye yeah, bye 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 <laughs> <laughs> What's your favorite? Bye, Mark. Hi. Hi, Flick. I'm very worried. <laughs> Someone's up to kill me. I gotta go. <laughs> Does this often happen to you? I think it's pathetic for someone else to come into an interview and just grab the focus. What? I mean, God. 
Notice me. So <laughs> selfish. <laughs> so. I have one more. Yeah, it's not right. Oh, what, what, <laughs> give the your... person their moment in the sunshine. Is oh, what yeah. I'm saying. <laughs> what, what's your What's your favorite purple? What's your favorite pie? Blueberry. Is there even a question? All right. And so, duck. Uh, I'm gonna say uh, I'm gonna say northern swamp mallard. That is very unaccept unacceptable. <laughs> Unexpected. Yeah. 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 Well, All there's right. a, quite a you know ducks are like dogs except totally different. That's true. All right. Let's see who else we could find at the uh, 2022 LA Comic Con. According to my notes, we're done. <laughs> I've run out of notes. <laughs> that was really funny.